hi guys welcome to my channel we're gonna be watching arrow season four episode two this is called the candidate um if you guys would like to follow me on twitter would like to get early access to my reactions or would like to watch the full reactions over my patreon links are down below let's get into this episode <laughs> What? Well, everyone's got a code name. You even got a new one. I want a code name. Find the bomb, and then we'll talk. I'm scanning frequency signatures. I just know we're not going to talk about it. John, you've got a runner. <laughs> Done. Get Tickle down here to handle the dismantling. You know, it seems like he could use a code name, too. Just get him down here. <laughs> I'm worried that if you keep going the way that you're going, you're going to put one of them down permanently. I know where the line is, okay? I know I should be nervous. I know, but I'm not. I'm actually really excited. You should be excited. That's why I got you the first day as a boss fern. Aww. And... Pack your lunch. Who are you? Who are you? Answer me. No, Thea and I were glad you got in touch. Yeah, we were um, a little surprised, though. Well, I admit... It's Polly off of Riverdale. Son and daughter ...by running for mayor. See, I told you. Crazy. No way to posing me, obviously, but they'll still need to be an election. There's a very good reason that no one else is running. Yeah, the last three yeah, the mayors can... ...say nothing yeah. of the city's leadership last week. Which is exactly why we need a mayor more than ever. This looks very, very bad. These are hard times for everyone in Star City. This company's not immune. Fortunately, Mr. Holt has devised us a way out. Oh, goody. Hello. <laughs> I'm actually not a member of the board. I work in the design innovations department. Tell me, Smoke, about your algorithm. It's uh, pretty simple, actually. I use specialized AI to determine maximum profits, which can be derived with a minimum amount of workforce reduction. Sorry, I, I probably could have explained that better. No, I got the gist. You came up with a list of people that you'd like me to fire. I didn't come back to this company to put the people who work here out of work. I came here to protect Ray Palmer's legacy. And if we do not dramatically reduce our costs or increase our profits, there won't be a legacy to protect. And today I am here with all of you to tell you that I am stepping hey. forward. The guy behind her is Jack from Supernatural. Two years ago, I lost my good friend, Mara Queen, who was also a candidate for mayor. And I remain inspired by her kind heart and her selfless devotion to this city. Jesus Christ. Nobody there. The shots are just a distraction. Is he a bad? Wait, wait. You're not in her detail. Yeah, just about to say, is he a bad person? Get back to the atrium. Oh, perhaps. Uh, self defense classes. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. What the hell is that? I think these prints are gonna do us any good. What yeah. the hell? I am not an expert, but I think our new friend may have cut off his fingertips and played a little bit of mix and match. I'll keep digging. Maybe this is an M.O. that'll tell us something. In the meantime, we backed off the SCPD. Thea was right. Jessica needs more than the police can offer. She's in protective custody, and I'm pretty sure my father wouldn't be in favor of us staking out his precinct. I'll talk to him. Oh, yeah. That'll oh, yeah, that'll work. Well. <laughs> I hate these conversations, because it just annoys me. Around. What this city needs is someone willing to stand up in the light of day, not a guy lurking around in the shadows. You sure you're going to be different this time, huh? Ow. Sorry, I was looking at the numbers again. And oh, you mean the numbers of people that your magic downsizing algorithm is making us fire today? Downsizing? You think I... You think I... I, I did Let's get one thing straight. The only person who is allowed to talk in sentence fragments around here is me. 
I developed my algorithm to create a value matrix, to argue for company-wide pay increases, raises. Mr. Dennis turned it around and had me use it to figure out who to fire. So this wasn't your idea? I was trying to get people to get paid more, not paid nothing. I don't know quite how to say this. I'm fired. But clearly you do. I didn't come back here to put people out of work, but I am hoping that by losing a few jobs, I can save many, many more. That looks like a little more than a few. The company is going through a difficult time. I know. And when we heard you were coming back, we thought things were going to get a lot better. Guess we were wrong. Give her a chance. She'll think it's something, I hope. You know, for the past week, you've been pretty intense. Are you going to tell me what's going on? And don't tell me it's because Oliver's back. Well, I'm not happy Oliver's back. <sighs> Just let it go, Laurel. No. How about you? Because we don't keep secrets, remember? Remember last week when Oliver was telling us about Dark? He said he had a hive of followers. Oh, okay. An organization called Hive killed my brother. Do Oliver and Felicity know? No. You've been investigating this for two years and you haven't told me this? It's a family thing, Laura. I would think you of all people would understand keeping secrets when it comes to the death of a sibling. I do. And because I do, I can tell you, carrying a burden like that, it never ends in any way but bad. You came to me with promises. You wanted to impress yourself to my organization, and you failed. I'm not done yet. I will make sure that Jessica Danforth does not run for mayor. Very well. Have you seen this guy here? You still want to use your arm? Let him go. You still think you're in charge? Hey! Get out of here! Yeah. That was like the old Oliver. She was acting like... I got an idea on her, Mr. Creepy. Be completely honest. I thought his fingerprints were all screwed up. Mixed up, but I have an obsession with jigsaw puzzles. Lonnie Machen, part-time mob enforcer, full-time crazy pants. Done jobs for the Bertinelli's, the Triad, Rick Pinzolo. Just happened was like I had information and I was trying to get it out. You of broke him. his arm. He was stalling. He was scared. At the water plant, you took down a ghost. You could have done it with a very simple disarming technique. You went overboard with a series of techniques designed to do one thing: cripple Oliver. He's trying to get the point across. I understand what he's doing. Acting like she did when she jumped out of the pit. Malcolm warned me not to take you to Nandaparabad. He said that when people go in the pit, they don't come out the same. And I didn't tell you because I didn't want to worry about you. You seemed normal, Thea, and I swear to God, I thought everything was going to be fine. And then you left. So you know what? It doesn't really qualify you to judge me. Oh, that was six months ago. Why is the pit only affecting her now? It's probably been showing up over time, subtly. So what do you want to do about it? You're going to pay a visit to um, yes, the you know Bros. My name is Oliver Queen. Three years ago, the yacht that I was on went down in a storm. I washed up here. I survived. Let's take him to Ryder. He'll know what to do with him. But there has to be another way. This many intelligent people in the company. There has to be someone who... Mr. Smoke, are you all right? Absolutely. It's okay. What is it? He's on the I'm list. I'm on the list, aren't I? I'm so sorry. It's okay. I mean, it's one less person that you have to fire today, right? You know, actually, this is good news in a way. My husband will be thrilled. And this way we can take that trip that he's been wanting to go on. You don't have to try and make me feel better about this. About what? I sort of fired myself. I kind of liked him. You know, who works to make sure that there's a city worth saving? Who's there to make Star City a place that my daughter wants to call home? Where's Madison? Oh, library. Poor kid has vinyls, so I sent her back to school. Don't worry. Captain Lance sent her with more than enough cops to keep her safe. Maybe you should call her. Uh-oh. That they're going after her daughter? It would make sense. The man who took my daughter, please, I am begging you, please let my baby go. You can't do this alone. 
You know that. Now two of your guys are down. Now let us help. This guy says he's... Oliver Queen. You don't recognize him? This man's a minor celebrity. Good news, though. I have no reason to kill you. So what are you going to do to me? Good question. You've survived three years here. That requires fortitude, intelligence, qualities that are of use to me. As it happens, one of my men stepped on a landmine. How would you like his job? Why is he playing with the tooth? Thanks for coming on such short notice. What did you do? Where is Jessica Danforth's daughter? Did he take a tooth out? Oh, is she alive? Did you catch the news earlier? You're unaware that there are lines one does not cross. I met one of your ghosts. After I took his tooth, we had an interesting conversation about Hive. I wasn't led to believe you respected lines. I respect order, Mr. Major. Discipline, precision. You are sloppy. All you represent is anarchy. You made a mess. I suggest you clean it up. Either way, our relationship is concluded. Wait! You can't. You know your hand is on me. Clean it up.